सो लेट एस टॉक अबाउट जी आई एफ आई टेक्नोलॉजी और वी कॉल इट गाई फाई टेक्नोलॉजी सो गाई फाई और गीगा बिट वायरलेस रिफर्स टू अ वायरलेस कम्युनिकेशन एट अ डेटा रेट ऑफ मोर देन वन बिलियन बिट्स और गीगा बिट पर सेकेंड सो इट इज मोर देन वन बिलियन बिट्स पर सेकेंड by 2004 some trade press used the term gaifi this gaifi uh, to refer to faster versions of ieee 802.11 standards marketed under the trademark wifi so it was actually wifi but the speed uh, went past 1 billion bits or gigabit per second that is why they called it as gifi so how and where this g5 have come up and reached let us start first of all we had cables right now also we have cables then came the optical fibers with some enhanced speeds and then came wireless access wireless communication then bluetooth and the speeds are comparable then came the wireless access new technology of wireless access also known as wifi or wireless fidelity and now the gifi so why this gifi is the talk of the town the reason for pushing into gifi technology is because of the slower rate higher power consumption and low range of frequency operation of earlier technologies such as bluetooth and wifi let us have a comparison between this bluetooth wifi and gifi what are the improvements gifi is giving you first of all uh, frequency it's not applicable but primary application this bluetooth supports 10 meters wifi around say you know in good case 100 meters or uh, specific ideal case 91 meters then uh, because you need to have clear uh, scenario when it will go up to 91 to 100 meters gifi is 10 meters because this is pan this works under pan personal area network this we are going to talk just now pan data transfer rate Bluetooth gives you around 800 kbps. Wi-Fi gives you around 11 mbps, while Gi-Fi it gives you 5 gbps. Right? 5 gbps is a huge speed. Power consumption is quite low, and the primary devices are both areas like this and this. If and if they are in a pan. Personal area network and primary application is again for wireless. This WLAN cable replacement and W uh, PAN cable replacement, both for this. And development started date because this is still under development. That is why we are talking today about Wi-Fi. An introduction to Wi-Fi. Wi-Fi means gigabit wireless, or you can say it as gigabit fidelity, uh, as you know uh, similarity with wifi but it is actually a gigabit gigabit wireless world's first transceiver integrated on a single chip first transceiver integrated on a single chip means transmitter uh, and receiver both on a single chip and it operates on 60 gigahertz on the cmos process 60 gigahertz on cmos process and allows wireless transfer of audio and video data at up to 5 gb per second this is a huge speed and transfer data within any known environment usually within a range of 10 meter so this is again uh, as i mentioned it is under pan personal area network this is the chip or transmitter and receiver transceiver chip of gifi see what is the size this is your Uh, one of your finger, and you can appreciate the size in of single chip of transfer. 
So the core components of GaiaFi system is the subscriber station, which is available to several access points, just like Wi-Fi has, and it supports standard IEEE 802.15.3c. This is wireless PAN. This is wireless PAN, and the wireless uh, PAN or is actually a computer network used for communication amongst computer device. Close to one person, which includes telephone and PDAs. So, an 802.13.13c based systems often use small antenna at the subscriber station, and the antenna is mounted on the roof, and it supports line of sight operation only. It supports line of sight operation. This is how wireless PAN network work. You have this PAN AP. These are cellular phone, PDAs, notebook, you know, printer, or PSTN, or fax, or headset. So communication goes like this. And the features of Gaifi technology is high-speed data transfer, as we have just seen, 5 to 5 Gbps. Low power consumption, you have seen the size of transfer. And high security, cost-effective, high security because it is only personal area network. Cost-effective and small size. Application, of course, for wireless PAN networks, an uh, inter-vehicle communication system, huge file data transfer, for office appliances, and video information transfer. So let us conclude that within five years, we expect Joyfy to be dominant technology for wireless networking. And by that time, it will be uh, fully mobile as well as providing low cost, high broadband access with very high speed, large file set within seconds which will develop wireless home and office of future. So the success of Wi-Fi and the imminent wide usage of WiMAX uh, is any indication Wi-Fi potentially can bring wireless broadband to the enterprise in an entirely new way. Hope you got the idea about Wi-Fi. Thank you so much. Take care.